Whenever we compare BitSat with any other competitive exam, one thing that stands out in BitSat is the concept of bonus questions. In spite of so much curiosity over the last couple of years and so many students asking and discovering the concept of bonus questions, the idea of how exactly bonus questions work and what is bonus questions is still not very clear. Most people think that if you do not attempt the bonus questions, then it is impossible to get very good score in BitSat. Some of them also say that the level of questions that are asked in bonus are are much more difficult than the actual BitSat paper. Which of these things are true and which of these are not? Today in this video, we are going to discuss the same. We are making this video after interacting with numerous students who have attempted as well as not attempted bonus questions. So in this video, let's discuss what are bonus questions, what is the level of questions asked in bonus and how to unlock those questions? Should you attempt the bonus questions while you're answering BitSat? So as we all know, BitSat exam has 130 questions, which come for three marks. You can score a maximum of 390 marks. But one thing that a lot of people don't know about is the concept of bonus questions. One thing that uniquely happens is that when you attempt these 130 questions, let me repeat that. When you attempt 130 questions, you get the opportunity to unlock additional 12 questions, which are not a part of the BitSat paper, but they are like a bonus that you get because you've attempted all the 130 questions and you have time remaining. As we know that these 130 questions come for 390 marks, but if you have 12 additional questions, that means that it is possible to score more than 390 marks in the BitSat paper. Yes, once again, let me clarify, the BitSat exam is out of 390 marks, but it is possible to score more than 390 marks if you attempt the bonus questions. This doesn't mean that it is a compulsion to attempt bonus questions. In fact, most of the students don't even attempt it and we will talk about this later in the video. So most of the students, instead of focusing on the 130 questions, they get curious about these 12 bonus questions and they ask us many, many doubts. Most of these doubts are related to the level of bonus questions, how to unlock these questions and what are the subjects that are asked in the bonus questions. Firstly, if you want to unlock these bonus questions during your BitSat exam, the only thing you have to do is attempt all the 130 questions. Once you attempt all the 130 questions, you will automatically get an option on your screen to unlock the bonus questions and attempt those 12 additional questions. One thing that you have to keep in your mind, which is very, very important, is that once you choose to attempt the bonus questions, you cannot come back to the first 130 questions. That means that you should attempt those bonus questions only and only when you are sure and confident that the questions you have done in the 130 questions are mostly right. There is not a very clear idea about what the level of bonus questions is, but based on the interactions we've had with students, they said that the level is at par with the other questions of the BitSat paper. It's just that you have extra time in hand and BitSat decides to reward you with 12 bonus questions. Now that we've discussed about what bonus questions is and how it works, we now come to the most important question every single student has. Should you attempt the bonus question in your BitSat exam or no? The answer is it depends. I'll tell you a stat. 95% of the students don't even attempt bonus questions. And even out of the 5% who do, most of the students are at loss because they attempt bonus question in a hurry and they are not really sure about the concept. And because of this misguidance, they end up losing marks instead of, you know, gaining marks due to bonus. Thus, bonus questions as a concept is not worth it for majority of the students. Only those students should consider answering the bonus questions who have attempted 115 to 120 questions successfully and are confident in their answers. And the remaining 10, 15 questions you are not really sure about. So in that stage and in that mindset during the exam, you need to make a decision Ki are you willing to risk those 10, 15 questions? And you know, let's say worst case scenario, mein, if all of them are wrong, you will get a minus 15 marks and you have to recover that. You have to break even with at least five to six correct questions in the bonus section. Okay, only if you're in that stage where you're easily attempting 115 to 120 questions, that is getting at least 300 marks in your mock test or in the final exam, you have the idea you are going to score this much. And only then you should make that conscious decision of attempting or not attempting the bonus section. At Fodu Club, we always recommend you to attempt the 130 questions that you have because they are more than sufficient to get into the topmost branch in Bitspilani any campus. 
अगर इन वन थर्टी क्वेश्चन में से अगर तुम वन ट्वेंटी भी सही कर लेते हो देन यू विल गेट अ प्लस थ्री सिक्सटी मार्क्स एंड माइनस टेन मार्क्स दैट इज थ्री फिफ्टी मार्क्स विच इज अगेन मोर देन सफिशियंट टू गेट इवन सी एस इन पिलानी गोवा और हैदराबाद बिफोर एंडिंग दिस वीडियो वन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दट आई लाइक टू पॉइंट आउट इज दैट दिस डजेंट मीन दैट वी आर डिस्करेजिंग यू फ्रॉम अटेम्प्टिंग बोनस क्वेश्चन इट इज अ वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर दो स्टूडेंट्स हु आर कॉन्फिडेंट इन हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी और हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन और इवन लेट्स ए वर्स्ट केस हंड्रेड एंड टेन क्वेश्चन यू नो यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट इन बट बी very cautious and be very mindful about the bonus section when you take that decision because majority of the students have not had a good experience with the bonus questions either they have lost marks or they have lost time time because you cannot attend the previous section and thus the let's say even if you had a doubt in one question you cannot recheck it isliye sab kuch apne attempt mein pehle check kar lena and only then make that decision of going to the bonus question hardbody mein and you know because of that restlessness don't Uh, jump on to bonus questions because you are only going to regret it later 130 questions may say 30 questions are coming from english and lr so if you want to know how to prepare very well for english and logical reasoning section and score 90 out of 90 marks so then click on this video and you will get a strategy that we have made for english and logical reasoning thank you so much for watching this video all the very best for your bedside exam sath mein phodenge